What's up in the box, baseball fans? Welcome back to another episode. We've got two hobby boxes of Tops Series 2 from 2023 version. We got these at the National. As you can see, the wrapper is already off. We redeem these for the Natty Packs, the National Packs that we opened. What a great product, but here we go. Let's dig the cleats and let's hit a nuke. We're going to bust through these. I took all the silver packs out of these too, by the way, and I opened those off camera. So no silver packs. Triple header today, baby. Pliny Man, Bishop. Andrew Luke. Luke is in the house, baby. Another one, man. It's been a while, Luke. He says, I'm back, baby. Good to see you, brother. Hope all is well, man. We got some paper here. Good to see you, dude. Hope all is well. It has been a while since Luke's been in the box. But life gets in the way sometimes. Cardio.com says, card addicts. I got so many cards right now. After the national... A lot of good products. July was brutal. Uh, in that Chrome Platinum, I looked up the um, variation, and it is a tough pull, man. Home Run Challenge card. Add that to the Carlos Correa. Got these for 50 bucks at the National. That is amazing. White Sox Tom. Watching the Dodgers went all in on platinum, says Polly. I, I, I'm liking that platinum. The one thing I guess I looked at too that I don't like, they have these super short prints of the tops workers. I think that's kind of weird to be quite honest with you because those can't be worth that much, can they? Bogarts. I got to keep an eye on. Uh, let me do just a quick run through here. Should be turned around, but just in case. We don't want to miss a golden mirror. A little golden mirror. They did have the wrapper on them, and then they you take them to the tops booth, and then you got to... What's going on, Stu? Oh, yeah. Dude, Series 2 is good. Series 2 is, I think, good. Series 1... Retail, no bueno. No bueno. Oh, they didn't. Okay, so somebody redeemed them, then you got them for 50 bucks. Gotcha, that makes sense. It's not a bad deal, really. Did they leave the um, sil uh, silver packs in them? Josh Jung, we'd like to get a parallel of him. First backwards card. Is that a rainbow foil? It's kind of stuck. Rainbow foil, Lurie Garcia, and that is J-Rod. That's not a bad deal. So White Sox Tom is saying he bought the boxes at the National for 50 bucks. Somebody had re redeemed them from the Silver Packs or the Natty Packs. And then... Um, And then picked them up for cheap. It's a good deal. Here is a blue Enrique Hernandez. That's a blue parallel. Been off all social media. Just want to focus on your training. That's a good idea, Luke. Well, I missed you. I hope your training's going, dude. Good. Achieve my goal being signed. Dude, that is awesome, my man. Holy crap. Keep up the grind, brother. When you get a baseball card, make sure you send me a signed one, man. I'll put it front and center, dude. Looking forward to seeing that. Just shows, guys. Put your mind to something. Work hard. And you can do it. Don't let anybody tell you no. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. But happy Friday night, everybody. We got one of these relics coming up. 
Ken Griffey Jr. Wouldn't that be cool if that was signed? Ken Griffey Jr., the kid. Home run RBI leader. Not numbered. <laughs> Luke says, got you. I love it. Did you guys see that Trout and Otani, the Tops Now card that they signed together? Incredible. That was cool. Good chance we're just going to get relics out of these, but you never know. And Manny Machado. The Pioneer League used to be affiliated ball now, independent. Just keep playing, dude. Keep moving up through the ranks. Stay on that field. Forgot who it was. He was in the minor leagues uh, like eight years and then got in there and hit a home run the other night. They had his dad on. Truck got an eight, snapped it, resubbed it, got a nine and ten auto. What's up, Sly142? Go Cubs. Corbin, Corbin Carroll. We'll put that right there. I wasn't able to watch my Cubbies tonight. We got a gold. Looks like it might be a Marlin. And it's not. It's a Ray. Harold Ramirez. So Harold Ramirez, gold. There's a numbered card. There's that. Corbin Carroll, put that to the side. Couple hits. How do you feel about the hidden gem cards? I'm not even sure if I know what you mean, Jeremy. 2023 Chrome, I think it's a really good hold to keep sealed. Yeah, Luke, those Natty Pats were amazing. I wish I could have got more of those. And we might have a rainbow fall here. It is Kyle Freeland. Big Mark McGuire. He was talking about steroids the other day. Fly the dub. Cubs could really use one in that series. The SSP inserts. Oh, the golden mirror here. I don't mind the idea, but. If you pull a golden mirror of just a trash bag player, it just, I don't know. I'd rather see them go back to regular short prints of really good players. Or if you're going to do super, super short prints, bring in some good players. So we've had a one numbered card so far. Corbin Carroll, rookie card. Ken Griffey, relic. But I got a bunch of these boxes. I think I have 20. After tonight, I'll have 20 left. I had 22. We're opening two tonight. Zeke, Series 1, All Aces, Otani, number 455. Yeah, man, dude. That Otani All Aces card is just, it's a big card. We would like to get a nice parallel out of this product. Kyle Tucker. I'd like to get something, something numbered. But I really like that uh that chrome platinum. We got some tops chrome coming. We got some more of that coming. Got another gold. What's up, Michael? Happy Friday night, dude. Mike is in the house. Spencer Str uh, Strider, Cup. And Stone Garrett. I like that name. Stone Garrett, rookie gold. He's built like a stone. Rookie gold. I don't know much about this kid. Twenty twenty three. Incoming Jerry's referring to the hidden gems, SSP, and all the Bowman and Tops. 
hidden gems. I've never even seen it. At least I don't think so. Sporting card dictionary hit a Volpe Mother's Day. Ooh, man. It's a big card. Volpe. Any, dude, you pull any, there's an Otani. Any Yankee card of a rookie, and it's a good one. Been seeing tons of people open that platinum and chrome is still in still rolling. Still rolling, man. So Stone Garrett We've had a couple golds. This one feels like we might have that relic in it. Maybe not. We have an Aces card. Um, I don't think the Otani Aces is in Series 2. It was in Series 1. And here's all Aces. And it's Tom Glavin. Yoshida. I love these cards right here. Love them. I definitely did not put together the Series 2 set for sure. Move that over here. Jeremy says, just rare. I have a PSA order that's uh, close to being done. I wouldn't even be surprised if it... I've had a lot of orders for some reason on Friday nights late have popped. Eddie's got some cards in there with me. I have a couple. I have. I know I have some Chrome La De La Cruzes. I know I have some 2023 Bowman Megas. I know I have a parallel of Jackson Trio, a Bowman Mega in there. Some decent cards coming back. Nothing monstrous. Jackie Robinson. They're like stuck together. Jackie. I like those. Randy Rosarena. We're coming down to four packs left in this box. Wanner's having a nice season. He's been good, man. I've seen two pulled live from Bowman. That's crazy. Those are super rare. How rare do you think the Tom Brady autographs are going to be in Bowman draft? And how much do you think those are going to go for? They are going to be worth a ton. An absolute crap ton. The Shohei is valuable. We got Drew Waters, rookie. Jordan Walker, I missed him. Where did that one go? Yeah, I'll get it in a minute. Just looking for those gold mirrors, just in case. I had a gold mirror that wasn't flipped around. But can't believe Luke made a showing. Congrats again, Luke. Keep the grind up, buddy. We're rooting for you. Spencer Steer rookie card. Was watching the Braves. Cunha Jr. didn't have a hit tonight. Lucky Peter in the house. And here's our last pack of the first box. We had a couple golds. We had that relic, the manufactured relic. And that's about it so far. Victor Caratini, James Altman. Yeah, 
and we had a statistics card, Aaron Judge, the judge, the jury, the executioner. And that's all she wrote for that box. Box one in the books. I'm glad I'm doing two. Nothing to write home about there. Got these for cheap at least, and we got natty packs with them. So some decent rookies. I'm just going to get those out of the way. Put those up here. Leave our hits kind of on the table. Let's go to box two. Let's see if box two can uh, be a little better. Stu says maybe Matt Olson could creep up and win the MVP. He could. That's why I tell people if you can redeem those uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. chromes, it might be wise to do so because there's a couple hobby shops that are already taking them. And then if he doesn't make it, then you double down and get the double value. And David Hensley on the Rainbow Fall, that is a rookie. How much did you get them for? Uh, the Acuna, these, these boxes I got for 75 bucks of the National, most of them. Couple I paid a little more for, like 80 bucks, and then one of them I had to pay 85 for on the last day. Jeremy says, Can't wait till Sh Shohei gets on a good team. It's going to be interesting to see how he goes. He's going to get a lot of money. We got a black insert and Jose Abreu for the Astros. It should be two ninety nine. It is two ninety nine. These are cool cards. We got a gold one out of those of a blaster box, a series one the other night. Yeah, they had these in the room at the National. They were blowing them out. I don't think they expect people to buy as many of these, but they had some really good prices at the Nationals. They were, people sold a ton. I watched multiple vendors say that they had their best National in sales ever. That's how good the National was this year in sales. Jose Ramirez throwing a right hook. Jose with the right hook, baby. <laughs> that was awesome. Tell you what, if the Cubs could get, if the Cubs could get Otani for eight years, I'd be pumped. Carlos says he's going to go to the Mets. I wouldn't be surprised. If they're going to, they freed up space to sign him. But if you're paying him 12 years, 60 million, I think it's crazy. 60 million a year for 12 years. I don't know about that contract. Eight years, I think I could live with. I guess it's not our money, but I think you look at what Paul Pujols did at the end of his career. He was done. Just done. Got a card that's a little beat up. Flagship paper. Francisco Alvarez. And we have a McCutcheon little insert. Otani of the Mariners. That wouldn't surprise me either. But somebody's going to have to pay him big. Real big. Mets are rebuilding. Dodgers are Mets. Lucky Peter's in the house. We got a home run challenge. Each one of these hobby boxes has a home run challenge card. Speaking of home run challenge, guys, I have got to redeem those badly. Freddie Freeman, I mean badly. I got to start getting on that. I have way too many 
to redeem. Garrett Mitchell, rookie. Josh Jung, rookie. I'm going to have to go back through those Series 1 and pull all the rookies, too. Blue Jays, Matt Chapman. I'm not sure what my Cubbies are going to do in the offseason. I really don't know. What do you predict your home run prediction success rate will be? <laughs> like 1 in 10, Luke, if I'm lucky. It's hard picking those, man. It's easier when you have more of one player. You just go like, I think I have like seven Chris Bryants. He picked seven games in a row. Series two is actually starting to look like series one stew. Michael says, I think it's crazy. Verlander went back to Houston. Yeah, man, they, they traded him fast. Austin Hedges, Salvador Perez. Again, just checking these. It's easy to do. We got a gold. We got a gold, finally. First. We had a couple golds in the first. And it's a Milwaukee Brewers team card, baby. Brewers team card. It's kind of a bummer. Nothing like a good old team card. Three openings on one day. That's unusual for me. Stu says, it only just takes one platinum. That's no joke. James Altman, rookie card. I missed some rookies in here. Carlos Perez. That is a... Rainbow Foil Rookie. We'll see that. I've always done this, guys. I'm a rookie prospector, so I put all rookie parallels into a top loader, throw them in a box that's labeled Series 2 of 2023, and then if a dude goes off, I know where to find it. Better than selling that for like a dollar or 50 cents, in my opinion. But how do you deal with cards? Some people wouldn't even sleeve that card, and I don't blame them. No hits in that pack. We're on the second half of this box. Haven't had our relic out of this box. If you go off, do you sell them? Usually I'll sell them. Usually. Here comes our Aces card. Who's it going to be? And it's Christy Mathewson for the New York Giants. I'll have to see if I can put together this set too. Luke says he pretty much has the same system as you, sleeving. I like to keep them fresh, that's for sure. Especially if you're gonna if you grade cards. Like some people, if you're not grading cards, it doesn't really matter. I thought Tops is better than Panini for redemptions. Usually they are. However, I still, I need to contact Tops. I still have a Jake Arrieta redemption from 2017 that 
just like disappeared from the system. And I didn't really give a crap about it, but now that I think about it, it's like, I want something for that. That card was actually a one back then. His prices were decent. Oh, uh, we got an Independence Day. How about a Jordan Walker? Let's call our shot. Jordan Walker, Independence Day. Oh, baby. A rookie could be big. I think it's this way. Who is that? I don't know. Will Benson. At least it's a rookie and it's for the Reds. How amazing would that be if this was Ellie De La Cruz this year? Out of 76, Will Benson. It's a cool card, man. Cool card. Tim says, what's up, everybody? Jay Chuck says, not bad, actually. The Big Red Machine is hot. That's a cool card. Independence Day rookie. It's a nice prospecting card. I like that. I like it. Obviously, you're looking for one of the big, super hot ones, but still pretty good. Still pretty good. Team color match. Yeah, I bought one of those of uh, of Nolan Gorman with the Cardinals, too. The red looks good with that. That was a nice card. I like that. Hunter Brown. Hannah, what's up, Hannah? Hannah Nicole, what's going on? Are you one of the few females that watches the channel? I hope I'm right there. I don't know if I've ever seen you in the chat, Hannah. But welcome. Aces card. Ooh, it's numbered. One out of 75. Felix. This box has been better than the first. Gold back. That's cool. This box has heated up. That first box is a total dud. This box is pretty cool. eBay 101 out of 75. Gold. That was cool. Again, that first box was a total dud. Second box looks nice. Not much. I probably hit him. <laughs> Felix Hall of Fame weekend here in Seattle. Another one. Nice Felix. I like that one too. I like that Aces set. We got Enter Sandman, Mariano, Mariano Rivera. I like those two. That insert set's pretty cool. Back to back hits. But we'll be back to a little bit of chrome and platinum next week whenever they come in. Probably open up another box of this tomorrow and Sunday, probably even Monday. Open some Series 2 up. I got 40 Blasters of Series 1, which those are going to be brutal to go through, man. I just did those 48 Blasters of Series 1. Man, those are brutality. Brutal. Michael says, I've had good luck with the Mega Box of Series 2. Hannah says, I think this is the first time I've watched you live. That's awesome. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for the support. Nick says, what's your most valuable card you got? The Wander Franco Platinum 101 from 2022 Topps First Edition. Sold on Golden for 78K, 78,000. Rainbow Foil. That was nuts. I've had a few $5,000 cards too. Erling Holland. Had some crazy Otanis. 
I didn't pull it on camera, but an Independence Day, um, Fernando Tatis Jr. When does Sapphire drop? Uh, Jeremy, I'm not sure. Hannah says, I am a subscriber. Thank you. I got brutalized, says Brian. Are you out of national packs? Yeah, Tom. No more national packs. I wish I'd have camped out and gone crazy even more than I did. We haven't gotten a relic out of this one, so there's still hope that we get an uh, autograph. Still hope we get an autograph, but most likely a relic. And again, I opened up all the silver packs already that were in these. The boxes were open. I just stacked them up, and I was bored, and I just said, I'm opening these. Where do you buy your cards at? Nick, it depends. Top's website, Fanatics website, Card Giants, my local hobby shop. I hit up King of Deal Stew. Um, Walmart, Meyer. I bought a case of platinum off of Card Giants. I think they still have cases available. So again, we haven't had our relic. Have not had our relic. Is our relic in here or is it an autograph? It is Last Pack Mojo. This is all we got here. Thanks again for tuning in. If you still got anything good, hit that thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 7,000 subscribers. I would have never imagined. We might not get a hit out of this box. Am I crazy? In terms of the relic or auto? And Frank Thomas, Jordan Walker. We didn't get a relic out of this box. Unless I, um, beats me. Think that was it. I was just looking around to see if we had a relic. I don't think I missed an auto. No hit. Couple home run challenge cards. We had the nickel and dime insert pile. We had a couple golds. Come on, couple golds. We had another gold rookie. I'll go through the rookies though. Some good rookie stuff, really. Fumbling around here. So we had our relic in the first box. Ken Griffey Jr. That's a nice one to get. If you're going to get one of these. Luke says rare top shortage. Um, Jose Abreu. This is a black out of 299. This Felix was one out of 75. And it was a gold. Really like that. Christy Matheson, Tom Glavin. And then here's our rookies. David Hensley, Rainbow Foil. Garrett Stone, rookie card. Carlos Perez, Rainbow Foil. And, I mean, the big hit. This is, this is why I open flagship right here. These kind of hits. Will Benson, rookie card. Independence Day Parallel, out of 76. 42 of 76. This has... Potential to be a monster if a dude just goes off and gets hot. Super cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in on this Friday night. Really appreciate it. Jake says, we are the real amateur hour. That's for sure, man. It is amateur hour. It's a cell phone in a dream. I will see you guys tomorrow night or tomorrow for some more Hobby Boxes, a Series 2. Until next time. Peace.